Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and here's an interesting story. A company called Kine Incorporated is launching a shoebox size satellite that has a new drive system on it. Now, it uses some sort of electromagnetic idea, no fuel. It uses some sort of electromagnetic idea I can't even fathom uh, to propel it. Physicists are saying that this is impossible. Why? Well, it generates thrust without any exhaust. And according to our laws of physics, that's not possible. This company is uh, putting the money into it, so it claims it can do it. And they incorporated claims that it has demonstrated prototypes of a system that does not require onboard propellant to generate thrust. And according to the firm, this will be used to launch a demo CubeSat in the low Earth orbit on an upcoming mission. It's been argued that this concept violates laws of thermodynamics, and if such, Demonstrations proved to be successful it could have major implications for our current understanding of physics. Yeah, I'd say so. Similar to hypothetical EM drive, the Kine drive is a closed system that generates thrust with no exhaust, popular mechanics explains. And it's been claimed that this technology would be capable of getting to Mars in just 10 weeks. So we'll take a look at the popular mechanics story. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. It's basically the same thing. Now NASA is working on something similar to this, which is the aforementioned EM drive. And they apparently think there's merit to the idea. Guido Feta plans to settle an argument about reactionless space drives for once and for all by spending it one in the space to prove that it really generates thrust without exhaust. Even if mainstream scientists say they, this is impossible, well, they've been proven wrong before. Uh, that's part of science is being proven wrong or being proven right. That's how you learn. Feta is CEO of Kine Incorporated, an inventor of the Kine Drive. This creation is related to the M Drive, first demonstrated by British engineer Roger Sawyer in 2003. Both are closed systems filled with microwaves with no exhaust yet, which the inventors claim do produce thrust. There's no accepted theory of how this might work. Schreier claims that the relativistic effects produced different radiation pressures at two ends of the drive, two ends of the drive leading to a net force. Feta pursues a similar idea involving Lorentz electromagnetic forces. NASA researchers have suggested that the drive is actually pushing against quantum vacuum virtual plasma of particles that shift in and out of existence. Wow, uh, this is some really heavy stuff. Most physicists believe these far-out systems cannot work and their potential benefits such as getting to Mars in 10 weeks are illusory. After all, the law of the conservation of momentum says a rocket cannot accelerate forward without some form of exhaust ejected backwards. Uh, that's not exactly what it says. Well, it says for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. For every action there's an equal and opposite reaction in the opposite direction. I'm having a mental block as far as the exact wording. That's what it says. It doesn't say you absolutely have to have an exhaust. 
And I'll show you their uh, website. This is a Canadian website. So this should be interesting. Uh, I wish they'd give us target data when this thing's going up. I, I want to know about this. This could revolutionize space travel. We could explore the solar system with this type of drive if it works. I'm not commenting on whether I think it works or not, because I don't know. But obviously this company is spending money to put this thing in orbit, so they must believe in it. Otherwise, why would they spend money? You see what I mean? Anyway, that's about that. Uh, kudos to this company. I hope they succeed. That will be, excuse me, a great thing. Might be getting a case of hiccups, I don't know. Kudos to Kane, and let's wait and see what happens. I'm Artifacts to Mars.